It's prediction time. And I'm going to throw it over you first. Connor? Give it to me straight. This is going to be a very, very exciting game. And we just did our top 10 MLS Cup finals in history. I'm going to make the bold prediction that this game will fall into that category of top 10 by the time it's done. It is going to be two really great attacks with headlined by two absolute star attacking players from this season, that being Kucha Hernandez and Denny Buanga. It is going to be, I think, a high amount of goals. I don't see either team as really like, you know, elite defensively. They're not a Nashville. They're not a Seattle. And I think that Columbus will win the game. <laughs> and I think it's going to be, I think it's going to come down to the fact that they are the deeper team. I Honestly, I didn't really have a respect for how deep they are until I watched their game against Cincy and watched them bring on Julian Gressel and Christian Ramirez, who absolutely changed the game for them. Without that depth, they are not in this game. And to be able to bring that off the bench, I mean, to your point, you know, there's a chance that they start the final as well. But if you're bringing them off the bench, that's fantastic. It's going to change the game. It's going to make things hard for the opponent. I think having that ability is going to be massive. Columbus is susceptible to the counterattack. That's the only thing I will say. And I think LAFC has proven that they can win without having the ball. So would I be surprised if LAFC won? Not in the slightest. It's, again, a team that most of, the, I would say a lot of the team was in the final last season. So they have experience in a championship game. They know how to win without the ball. They have an absolute superstar who can make things happen, which is massive to have in a final. Uh, but I just think that overall, Columbus just feels like the a little bit more well-rounded of a team. So I'm, I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be fun and high scoring, but I think Columbus takes it. I am really excited to watch this game because... The crew with the majority of the ball were hurt in transition early and often against FC Cincinnati. LAFC thrive in transition moments, especially with the speed and the power of Denny Buanga. This game to me comes down to, very simply, first off, is Rudy Camacho healthy? If yeah. Rudy Camacho is not healthy for Columbus, I think it is a massive setback, and I think Vela... I think Buanga, I think Oliveira have their way with them in transition. Secondly, is Julian Gressel starting the game? Because Mo Farsi was really good, but Julian Gressel is a game changer. I think he has to start. It's a tough one. It's going to be a great game. right? You've got the crew who line up in that 3-4-2-1 against LAFC, who are bang average, 4-3-3 with a defensive lineup. Ily Sanchez pulling the strings. Here's Before you make your final decision, Here, I'll make my last-ditch effort to try to swing you on the Columbus hype train. I also think I, I back Wilford Nancy a little bit more than Chirondolo. Interesting. I, I think Nancy... I think Nancy's good at making adjustments on the fly. He knows how to work with different systems because he was able to do things successfully with Montreal and then come over to Columbus and create success as well. That's two entirely different teams and he's able to get things out of both teams to a very high level. So I think Chirundolo, while he's done a good job with LAFC, was handed a really good deck of cards to start with and kind of has had to like, like I don't think he's had to change how he plays as much as Nancy has, considering Nancy had to go to a completely different team, completely different players. So, and I think we saw that when Nancy brought on Julian Gressel and Christian Ramirez, it was absolutely the right call. It changed the game. He changed the way that the team was playing and it, and it worked big time. So I like Wilfred Nancy a little bit more than Sharundalo. So I think that gives them a little bit of a nod towards Columbus. 
All right, here's how I'm going to do it. LAFC, thrive in transition. Buanga is a nightmare one-on-one, and he will find open spaces. Whether it's Farsi or whether it's Gressel getting up that space, on that flank, he will find spaces in transition. The other problem, and I just read back our text, Columbus are too committed to trying and playing out of a press, which LAFC used to beat Houston in the same exact manner. Houston played, um, oh, excuse me, Houston playing in the 4 2 3 1 shape. They're going to have similar passing lanes to try and play out of. But at the end of the day, LAFC are committed to the press. Columbus are committed to playing out, and they're not perfect at it. FCC weren't as clinical as they should have been. I think LAFC is way more comfortable playing without the ball. Nancy loves playing with the ball. LAFC love the counterattack. Denny Buanga, Diego Rossi, Carlos Vela, Cucho Hernandez, Oliveira versus who's the other one? Uh, Matan. It is going to be punches thrown for everybody. But I'm going with my boys from L.A. We are repping the boys who have never wronged the New York Red Bulls. It yeah. all comes down to That's history. That's what it came down. You had this It decision all comes down to history. Ago. We <laughs> never, ever support those who wronged the Red Bull. 2008 does not forget people. 2008 <laughs> is always there. We remember and therefore, all my homies love LAFC. Up Denny Bawanga, up Carlos Vela, up the LAFC. Fair enough. It's it's fine to have wrong decisions. Yeah, that's why you were allowed to pick it. That's why I didn't make you change your pick. <laughs> that's fine. I gotta I gotta back Columbus. Even though Columbus has knocked us out of the playoffs twice now, I would love to see. Some former Atlanta guys get a title here. Love to see Gressel and Nagby go get another title. So, going to back the boys, back Columbus. But I, honestly, I mean, as a neutral, it's just going to be so much fun to watch regardless. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, no no doubt whatsoever of, of how much enjoyment it's going to be.